To innovate, engineers must produce. And at Queen's University Belfast, they're doing just that, with research that has led to advancements in a wide range of industries that influence and improve all parts of our lives, including energy, transport, cybersecurity, bioengineering and manufacturing. Our reporter, Donna Bernard, took a trip to Belfast to find out more. Queen's University Belfast sits at the heart of a city with a history steeped in heavy engineering and shipbuilding. Its industrial environment means that this award-winning centre of academic excellence places equal emphasis on acquisition of the practical skills relevant to society today. Belfast has had many seminal moments in engineering. It's had a long tradition of engineering innovation and firsts, right through to modern cyber security technologies which are emerging from this amazing research centre that we're in. Technology such as the, the London Routemaster bus was uh, designed and built uh, by Wright Bus here in Ballymena and we've had a long partnership with them, uh, working with them on the hybrid drive and that's all about energy efficiency and leading us into what we hope will be the next new uh, seminal moments where we are uh, creating the ideas for uh, new ways of generating uh, sustainable energy. One of the principal areas of research into clean energy here involves a compound called dimethyl carbonate, or DMC. It's added to diesel to make combustion more efficient and cut toxic emissions. The School of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering is working with some of its international partners to develop the compound and hope the local community will eventually benefit. The international dimension is extremely important because no one can develop any technology these days on their own. So this example that we've just talked about with dimethyl carbonate is a partnership in the US with Saturn Methanol, Yashintech in China and, and ourselves here in Belfast. So we've had over a million kilometres run with our partners in China uh, on DMC with cars, taxis, minibuses uh, and even, even some of the diesel trains now are being converted over. So we're very hopeful that we're going to replicate the same, uh, the same advantages in Belfast. Over at the School of Mechanical Engineering, the work they're doing is supporting industry using virtual reality. Engineers and designers can get a realistic experience of their products by using VR headsets, so they can not only see how it works, but how it can be put together and then taken apart for maintenance. With this type of system, design problems can be ironed out early on, and physical prototypes could become obsolete, enabling businesses to cut costs. Other groundbreaking research is taking place in the brand new computer science building, where researchers focus on keeping bank accounts safe from ever-changing malicious software. One of the key areas of innovation here is research into cyber security, such as the problems that can arise with secure websites and logging into them. Malicious software, no, commonly known as malware, is any software that's written or deployed for malicious activities such as stealing money from your bank account, stealing data, encrypting your data or trying to extort money out of you in some way. Students on Dr Kane's course are taught to develop programmes that will enable machines to learn how to identify unusual online behaviour. The minute that happens we're detecting it, so our learning algorithms actually proven quite well, very effective and have taken them from a very low detection rate to the 90s detection rate. The medical world may also benefit from the work going on here at Queen's as engineers try to create new composite materials that human tissue won't reject to provide support to joints and bones using 3D printers. I would liaise quite a lot with surgeons and doctors to talk about the problem that of bone defects just so I can understand better what kind of solution I'm going to be developing. Then it's up to us as engineers with our knowledge of materials and manufacturing processes to come up with the solution. Students come to Queen's not just to learn but also to become useful to society. The university's ability to convert innovation into workable solutions is what makes it the national leader in generating income from ideas.